Today's quick video is going to be about finding new ideas that fit exactly the type of investment or trade you're looking for. Now, as always, you can look at the chart just as we are. You can use the search box to type in symbols to find and chart specific symbols that you want to see. You can also use your watch list where you are analyzing, tracking, and following all of the assets that interest you. That's right here. You may even have multiple watch lists so that you can see essentially uh, everything that you've ever wanted to watch all separated and organized beautifully. But sometimes it's good to have a strategy or plan for finding a new investment or trade ideas and you can do that right from this chart. So you might see people on social media trying to tell you to buy this or sell that. You may see a news story that tells you to buy this or sell that. But why not instead go do the research yourself, go find exactly what you need. So watch our mouse here. If you go down to the bottom left, there's a screener button and you can screen for stocks, cryptocurrencies, or even Forex using this screener tool. So keep in mind, this little drop down is how you can bounce around in every asset class stock. Here's Forex and here's crypto. For the sake of this video, we're going to use the stock screener and what we're going to explain to you applies to all the other screeners. In this screener, everything is customizable, everything. So these are the tabs that you see that you're currently sorting by. These are the different sections that you can sort by. So we have performance selected, which is why we see these different percentage changes. So for example, this is a one week percentage change. And if we click, it sorts the tab by one week percentage change. This is a one month percentage change. If we click, we see one month percentage change. But we can change this. We don't, maybe we don't want to look at performance. Perhaps instead we want to see extended hours. We want to see what assets are moving after the market close. We're looking for some trading in the after hours. Well, there's a button here. We just clicked extended hours. Now there's a button here that says post market percentage change. And we can quickly see what assets are up the most in after hours trading. So this screener tool is how you can find investment or trades yourself. Don't let other people tell you what to buy or sell. Instead, go do the research right here directly from the chart. Now, the reason why we wanted to make this video is because you may have an asset or a watch list of assets and stocks that you like, but just maybe, maybe you want to dive in deeper and find something else. Perhaps one day you look at your watch list and you say, you know what? I need to expand upon this. I need to find something new. Well, guess what? Go click your screener tool, open it up and dive right in. So as we were mentioned, you have these tabs here, which ultimately decide what you can sort by. So if we click overview, you see some very basic stats. It's an overview of all the symbols available to you in the screener that you can sort by. If you click performance, you can now sort totally by performance percentage change, even year to date performance. What symbol is up the most this year? If you click extended hours, you'll see what's trading the most in the after hours or pre-market. If you click valuation, you'll see all the fundamental tools available to you. So market cap, for example, if you click market cap, you'll now see all of the stocks with the largest market cap. You can click dividends if you're looking for yield. So some people are dividend investors and they want to go get some sort of yield that's available to them or just total dividends paid is another example. You can also click margins if you want to look into a company's margins, who has the highest gross margins, who has operating margins or pre-tax margins. And keep in mind, sometimes the data is not perfect. This is something that's super important. The TradingView team will always look in to fix this data. And keep in mind, if you see something that you think doesn't look right, you can send that to us and we'll fix it. So even in this margin tab, there are probably a few things that can be quickly fixed. But the point is, if you use these sections here, you can sort by anything. You can even do oscillators, which we just showed, trend following, there is a tab for everyone. Now keep in mind, this is all customizable. These are only presets, you can make your own. 
for example, let us show you a few things. If you look at this column setup and we click this, we can create our own column. So watch what we do here. We're going to uncheck everything. See this? We unchecked everything. And now we're going to start checking a few things. The first thing we're going to do is PS. We want to do, oops, EPS. We want to do EPS. So what's the basic ET EPS over the last 12 months? We want to do Let's see if we can do PE price. There we go. We want to do price to sales. And we also want to do price to earnings. We want to do price to free cash flow. We also now want to do a percentage change. But what we want to see is percentage change over one week. So what's been performing the best. We also want year to date. We want to know what assets are performing over this year. What are the best performing assets of the year? And we also want to see some stats about volume because volume is important for execution and slippage. So how about we do a average 30 day volume? And now what we've done is we've created our own tab. Check it out. Everything we've selected can now be sorted by right here, our year to date. Then we can see the PE ratio, PS ratio, EPS, average volume, one week change. If we click this drop down, we now click save column as, and let's call this YouTube video example. And then we click save. And now you have a YouTube video example right here. So check it out. If we click performance, here's the performance setup. Now we click this drop down, YouTube video example. And here's the custom setup we just made. So if you're following us, this is so important. Everything here can be customized to fit your needs. Step one is opening up the screener. Step two is understanding that these tabs will help you sort all the different ways you can scan for stocks. These are preset tabs that we made for you, but you can make your own just essentially by saving it here into this menu, save column as, and to rearrange these columns, you want to make sure you select column setup, and now you can search for any stat or fact and you can uncheck any stat or fact. So we hope that this is really helping you dive in and keep in mind this applies to every type of screener here. If we were to go to crypto, we could do the same exact thing. And we'll just show you, here's crypto. Let's say we want to make our own setup for cryptocurrencies. We click column setup, we uncheck everything. And then essentially we could start over. So what's the first thing you want to see? Let's see volume. Let's do 30 day volume again. Let's get market cap. We want to know how big a crypto project is. Let's get year to date performance. Let's also get volatility in there. And why don't we put one more? Uh, let's do uh, let's do another percentage change. And why don't we do one week again? And if we exit and leave the column blank, we can actually now even add more six month performance. What else do you think we should add? How about we do the all time high so we get a feel for that as well. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to click save column as and call this YouTube video example crypto. Click save. And now we have our custom scan saved right here. So if we went to overview, we'll see this. Drop down, YouTube video example. Now we see our custom setup. We can even sort by market cap now, and then we can see year to day performance, volatility, one week change, six month performance, and the all time high. Truly, truly is such a powerful tool if you can begin to master this and use it perfectly. Now, one more quick thing is that these tabs can also be changed because they are our favorites. The favorite button works across TradingView. Make sure you watch all of the videos on our YouTube channel to learn about this favorite button. We just clicked favorite and now look, our YouTube video example is there. We'll also click overview and trend following and now we have our three favorite scans right here that we can customize completely to ourselves. Now keep in mind that not only is all of this customizable, but you can also enable, you can also use alerts for this you can also go right to your alerts log and you can change the timeframes quickly. 
You can also export your screener to a CSV, CSV file. And you can even do additional filters and save additional things to screen by just by clicking the filter button. This filter button is really powerful because it's how you can then narrow down each thing that you're sorting by. Let us give you an example. Right now we're sorting by market cap in our custom setup. But if we go to filters now, what we'll do here, well, before we actually do this, watch this. So we're going to reverse this. And if you look, there are some cryptocurrencies here that have a market cap of zero. We don't want to see these in our scan. So watch what we do. We open up this filter tab and we reduce or we increase the market cap. And let's go to 300 million. And now if you look, they've all been removed. It now only shows cryptos with a market cap of 300 million or greater. That's cool. We just got some coins. We'll make a video about coins later. That's an exciting example to get on this video tutorial. But now you can see here it says 300 million to 100 billion. So all of these tabs not only are customizable for your specific layout, but they can be narrowed down using the filter tab. And then of course you can save this filter. As an example, if you were to do all time highs, let's just, we don't want to save this, so we'll do all time high. Now we're using our specific YouTube video example layout with this unique all time high layout in our screener. So to master the screener, you want to be an expert at understanding the, sec the ways you can scan and the ways you can save and sort your scans, how you can favorite them, quickly find them in this dropdown or right here. And then the next point to really become an expert is understand your filters, how you can then narrow down what you're scanning for to exclude or include specific assets. If you only wanted to see market caps over 10 billion, if you only want to see a certain amount of volume, that's all possible. And now you're making your own custom scanner just like that. So I hope this video helped. And remember the core of this video is you want to find assets that fit your strategy or style. Don't just buy something because someone else told you to. Go do the research. Go scan for the parameters that matter to you. You can do that right from your chart by clicking screener at the bottom and diving in. So thanks for watching. We hope this video helped.